You want to know what it's like to be homeless? It's lonely, cold and hopeless. On a day-to-day -day basis, I'm surrounded by crackheads, drunks and roamers. It's not like I want to be involved, but it's a road I found myself on. Like many people on this road, their lives are so complex and built around stress, it's probably the reason we're all in this mess. See, we can't even sleep at night, and we don't even control the lights. And when it's windy and blistering cold in the darkest of November's nights, your only wish is to feel warm inside, a luxury we all miss, like a sweet kiss. I split with my wife, so I lived on the barge. My barge caught fire. I lost everything. I ended up with what I was wearing and 26 pounds in my pocket. So the key worker told me I'm going to be on the streets for six months. After that six months, the council could still take two to three years to house me. Well, up until recently, Bristol only ever admitted to seven homeless people. Now they've brought it up to 97. Nowhere near close. 196 in Bristol, rough sleepers. And it's probably gone over the 200 mark now. New faces coming in every day, young, old, and they all have that scared look on the face, like a deer in headlights. I decided to start helping other people, and I've managed to get three people off the streets into housing and help them get employment through employment agencies in the washing machine factory in Bristol. And if I can do it, why can't an institute like the council do it? I used to drive coaches all around the UK. My nan died and I got kicked out by my uncle because the house was left to him. So I came back to the southwest. I have a big problem because I'm in a tent. I can't get my driving license changed because I don't have an address to send it to. So without having my license updated to this new address, I can't get work. I normally get up at first light. The toilets for me would be half an hour down that way to Gordano Services. If it's after seven, then I can go for about 20 minutes to Sainsbury's and use their toilet. As to getting wet, I try not to, but if I do, I stay in the tent and in my sleeping bag and just basically let them dry me out. 